Hey there folks, Gary Bradley here and in this video I'm going to show you a new feature inside of Adobe InDesign 2020 which is column rules. So if you're in a position where you have multiple columns of information but the data within those columns is of a different topic then you can use a vertical line to separate that information out. So typical thing would be say a newspaper, I've got a mock-up here that I have of a, a UK newspaper and I have multiple columns down at the bottom right hand side for film reviews and I wish to separate them out in between each of those columns with a rule, a line essentially. So um, this has pretty much been a very highly requested feature amongst InDesign users and there have been ways in the past to be able to achieve this line but we now have a much easier way to achieve this and it can also be captured as an object style as well. So if I pick up my zoom tool and then zoom into this lower right uh, section of the spread in here, switch to my selection tool and then click on this text frame, you will notice here that if I move this text frame, it is one text frame with multiple columns in five to be precise. And you can see from the control panel at the top up here, the settings for that here is number of columns and then the gutter value, the gaps between those columns in here, in my case set to what millimeters, 4.233, which is 12 points. And so from here, um, you will notice that I have on the left hand side spread, I do have a physical line in there. That would be one of the old ways of doing it, very time consuming, but we need to have two or more columns inside of the text frame for this feature to show up. So with the text frame selected, you can reach um, the, the place where we need to go to, which is text frame options by right clicking on the text frame and choosing it from list, or you can press command or control B to get to those options. Or indeed, you can go to the object menu at the top of the screen and come down to text frame options. When this loads up here, then um, the first thing you might notice if you've used this dialog box uh, in the past is that we used to have a tabbed workflow that went from the top left to the top right. This has now been replaced with a list on the far left hand side where you can still reach all the same options that were in this dialog box before the 2020 version. And in particular, column rules is now second in that list. So you'd have to make sure the preview checkbox is turned down, down at the bottom. But if I turn on the checkbox to insert column rules, there we go. This is the default appearance. So a vertical line in between each of the columns, right in the center of the gutter as well. And they generally start right at the top of where your characters are or the top of the text frame. I'm using a baseline grid in this case. So my text isn't quite uh, right at the top of the text frame in here. It is snapping to a baseline grid. And then the line will end level with the descenders in your characters on the very last line in the text frame. So from here, then the, the rule length, you can start at a certain place, you can end in a certain place. So starting is at the top of the uh, text frame. And if I tap down, that will put a negative value in, which actually moves the line higher up from its original position. Um, if I tap upwards and then set this back in here to a positive value, then you'll notice it moves the line down from its starting point. So if I set that back to zero, it can also affect the end line as well. So a negative value in here will move that line lower down and tapping up will then move that line up into the text frame. So notice that position down at the bottom there. So again, I'm gonna set that back to zero and then we have a horizontal position. So this is the, of course, the left to right, where do you want to position this? So again, a positive value will move that towards the right hand side, a negative value in this case will move it towards the left hand side. I think for the most part, um, you're probably going to center that line uh, in between the two sex frames in the gutter in there. But it is an option that's available to you as well. Down to stroke, the actual printable characteristics of this. You can increase the stroke weight if you wish to. You can decrease. You can even go to the type menu and you could change the style of the line. So if you wanted, you could go to, say, Japanese dots. Obviously, the dots in this case, their size is determined by the stroke weight. If I increase that, the dots will become bigger or conversely, I can make them smaller as well. So you know, a dotted um, divider between your columns can be quite effective and quite popular to use as well. And finally, you could change a color. So in here, if I want to use my culture topic from the newspaper and pick say uh, culture main, that will color it according to the color theme on this page. And that essentially is access to any of the swatches you have in your document that are in your swatches panel have been saved. Um, you can change the tint value in there but I think with this, I'm fairly happy. Um, I will go back to OK, and that applies the column rule inside of InDesign CC 2020. Thanks for watching, folks. Don't forget, you can always subscribe. And if you uh, enjoyed the video and found it useful, please give it a thumbs up. And until next time, farewell.